be here without John Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below. And um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I'm gonna make this quick this year. I'm raising money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center because they saved my oldest daughter's life twice. And my youngest children are in a NICU in a hospital that's affiliated with Johns Hopkins. So any amount of money that you can help me raise really means so much to me because it really, my daughters would not be here and my son would not be here without Johns Hopkins Children's Center. So um, you'll find links below and um, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. It's time for Eric Plays Multiplayer Civ. Hey guys, how's it going? Time for another game of Multiplayer Civ. Let's get in there. There we go. Alright, so uh, what I'm trying to do here in this game is um, basically make sure that uh, I keep attacking barbarians because with the um, Aztecs, um, every time I win a battle, I get money. Um, so I definitely want to do that. So let's start off with this guy. And uh, if you, if this is your first time watching me play this game, um, this particular game. Um, Dan and I and Dave are supposed to be playing a um, small multiplayer map and uh, basically uh, I wanted to have one where it's just the three of us against each other and I accidentally forgot to make the world small and I didn't realize that at first I was just building unit after unit after unit so now I'm losing money like crazy so I need to make money wherever I can. So there's another eight gold. Um, the nice thing is they also give me uh, culture and all the other stuff too. I'm gonna have this guy fortify until healed. All right, so that should be everything for now. Uh, so I should send someone out that way. Let's send him this way so I can take the city and get even more gold. In the meanwhile, I thought I had a trireme out here somewhere looking for Dan and Dave. Uh, but I might need to uh, work on uh, sailing or whatever so I can start colonizing other lands and trying to find them. Speaking of which, let's see here. Hmm. So we got a worker, library, and a catapult. Alright, I guess let's, uh, ah, let's make some settlers. Might as well have a big sieve. Alright, so uh, let's go to the uh, loading screen. Oops, loading screen. And uh, do this. Save. Alright, let me send my turn over to uh, the giant multiplayer server. Giant multiplayer robot server. Load in the next game. Loads. I'm just going to do something on my the computer temporarily. This one's usually a pretty quick one, the Japanese. Unless the game happens to screw up the way it does sometimes when I'm playing here. Uh, and switching back and forth uh, between different uh, games. Alright, so it says choose research, which is a good sign. So, let's fire on this guy before he destroys my fisheries. Didn't quite get him. Too bad I don't have any archers at the moment. Oh, good. I'm gonna have a caravan soon. Uh, not sure who he would... Oh, here we go. He could trade with, uh, these guys. Okay, that's good. That's good. Alright, let me pick my research here. So, if I do calendar, 
I can get plantations. They're recommending that. Now. I don't have anything that would benefit from that right away. Writing. Let's just build libraries and build up our science. Trapping. <coughs> Can't allow me to get the deer over here. Um, the deer over here. And at least the horseback riding, but I don't have horses anywhere. Now bronze working. Let's me see where iron is. And currency. Let's me build markets. Let me do bronze working followed by currency. I think that's the best thing to do. Okay. Let's uh, go out to the turn window. It's time for gamers from the realm, kingdom, and galaxy to come together to make a difference in space flight. Join us on November 7th or choose your own day for 24 hours of gaming to raise money for your local children here in the Are you ready to be a hero? Extra life. Play games. Feel safe. Gelin pazarlığa tutuşalım. Hoşunuza gider mi? Everyone can be a hero for some kids. It's time for gamers from every realm, kingdom, and galaxy to come together to make a difference in kids' lives. Looks like somebody's gonna want to talk to me next turn. All right. So we will save. Submit this turn. That's weird. Why is my Civ game so ridiculously large? There we go. Alright. Let's load up the next one. Let's see here. So this guy was promoted. Oh, this is next turn. So this is this is no good. I'm gonna have to exit and go back in. Hate when that happens, but uh, whatever, it happens. Just as it has always been. When I'm I'd have to look it up to know for sure, but I think at this point in 2016, this is our third year playing these games, trying to get to a conclusion. Civ games take forever when you're playing a, a turn every few days, sometimes on average a turn a week.
be nice if uh, this wouldn't happen so I could get through these a little more quickly. And uh, for you as well, the viewer, but that's okay. But we're chatting today. And that's okay too. This game is six years old already. I wish I knew what took, made uh, Civ games take so long to load. <coughs> Alright, so here we go. Let's promote this guy. Let's get a rough terrain bonus. Bring him back in for now. Alright, this guy got promoted. Uh, let's heal him up. Do some more exploring. Okay. So, Memphis. Let's bring you up one tile, and let's build to over here where the new city's going to be. And you go here to mine and get iron, hot rat iron. I've got a worker over here. Let's see here. <coughs> I think I'll send him to take care of resources near this city. That should help a lot. Alright, I'm gonna wait. Alright, let's build a new city. Ooh, Elephantine. I hope it's a really, really tiny city. Alright, and I'll have this guy be right here, just to protect against any uh, ruffians. It's a nice spot in terms of fishing here. Plus, I've got lots of opportunities here to get um, production. All right, so definitely, let's see. I haven't really met anybody yet, so I'm not gonna worry about uh, caravans and all that. This one looks like a really good one because it gives me more food since I have all these um, mountains here they're not going to give me food and hills and then um, once I get to these tiles it'll give me more um, more production all right so now let's see here shrine monument yeah let's increase the culture that's always a good thing do the barracks at that point and scout could be useful I might as well make these so no one's gonna have them all right over here let's definitely make a war chariot since you're making the stables okay okay all right, perfect all right I, 
I do feel like I'm bleeding them dry, which is a good thing. However... These things, the range never seems as good as it should be. Alright. I can't see what's going on with their attacks. I don't know if they're hitting me from their city or what the heck's going on here. Alright, so there we go. There's a replaceable multiplayer sieve. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.